Uh, looks like we're placing first here. Let's take a look at the board. Wow, there is no ore whatsoever. Um, probably not going to go the ore wheat sheep build this, this, uh, game. <clears throat> There's decent amount of wheat. I just don't think because I'm placing first, it's going to come back around to me. So I think I'm actually going to go the 5A10 here and point downwards. I don't see how I can lose doing that. Where's the brick port? Brick port's way up here, so going here is probably not going to make sense. Even if I went here and then there, and that's not going to be available. So yeah, I think I'm just going to go here and point downwards. And then, uh, and then we wait. Black goes the uh, 9, 5, 10, which is probably really good. Um, it's almost a spitting image of mine with a little bit of a twist on the resources. What does red go for? Um... I think red would should go for the six nine ten right next to me. Um, he could go the three four eight, but I just don't see that being powerful enough for a first settlement. When there could be other po good potential uh, places. Well, we got to make sure though. Uh, what the the board should make sure though, is that blue doesn't get uh, something like the uh, five six eleven. And A310 pointed upwards towards the brick port. Because then uh, that that's going to be a goaded position for for the ports anyways. There you go. Red goes to A34 probably for that reason. And probably because it's actually a decent pick. Although I still think the 6910 would have been a bit better. Um, making sure that... Uh, blue can't go six, uh, five, six, eleven, and a three ten was really, really good. Um, black here probably goes, it probably chooses the six nine ten, but what would be his second choice here, which would probably be some sort of wheat, uh, wheat and or. Three, four, six, okay. And then the six, nine, ten, yeah. He wanted to start with a road in hand, which was nice. It's always nice to start with a road in hand. If he goes right, that means he's trying to beat me to the three to one port, making my life a little bit more difficult. Hopefully he decides to go for the Wii port instead, but I don't see him... I don't see why he would go for the Wii port. So I might uh, actually lose the race to the 3 to 1 port, which is going to be problematic for me. Red goes to the 4 5 11. That's a decent start. Uh, very comparable to what he has, and he gets a, a wooden uh, or a road in hand. Uh, black. I don't know where black would go. Even if he gets the 3-9-11, which is probably not the greatest spot, seeing as he's already on the 9. Um, the only other spot that's left with three other resources is uh, the 2-4-9. And then after that, it's all side pieces. So what does that mean for me? Which he does end up going. He ends up going on a 6-11. So what does this mean for me? Where, where do I go from here? Um, I could use a sheep. 
So I could go 6-2. I could go 9-12. Um... The real question is whether or not Blue is going to go for that 3 to 1 pour and and block me off. Cuz the other way I can go is 8-3. It's a little bit better than the 6-2. But I think doubling up on the 8 is dumb because then I only get four unique numbers. So I think I have to go to 6-2 here, pointing upwards to the 3 to 1 5-2 port and We'll have to play it like that. And I get a 7 immediately. The main question is, is what do I want to do here? And I think I'm going to go ahead and block the 6 brick. I get to block more than one people, one person. And um, if I steal from black, I have a 50-50 chance from getting a brick. Although blue is the one that might be racing me to the 10. But do I want the 10 or do I just want the 5-2? I don't think it really matters here. I'm still going to steal from blue. And I end up getting the sheep. But I don't think it really mattered at that point. Because even if... He races me to the 10. I think the 5-2 is better. I don't know. Very, very interesting. And our two rolls, the, the two already rolls, which is either a good thing or a bad thing. I don't know yet. Hey, Banana, how's it going? Just playing a little bit of Catan before I move over to Hunt. <clears throat> wow, two Snake Eyes. That's actually really impressive. So Blue does go towards the 10-3 port, 3-1 to one port, which is fine. I can go to the... 5-2 here, and settle there. Did you, uh, did you stream at all yet today, uh, Banana? Or, or did you finally say 40 hours was enough and, and you decided to just take the day to yourself? Now, a 10 and an 8, the 8 hasn't rolled at all, which is actually not in my favor at this point. I actually uh, didn't get um, any resources that round, I don't think. No, I didn't. So that's a little rough. I mean, that's what happens when you're only on five unique numbers. Um, you're not going to get a whole lot of resources and because I'm going to be building on the 5-2 which is two resources I already have it's going to be even worse um, building to the 8-3 3 to 1 port might be uh, decent and that's what I'm hoping for uh, if I can ever get a 5-8 and eight to roll I'm going to be having a ton of wheat though and it's uh it's a shame I can't get to that 2 to 1 wheat port. The 6 was blocked uh, for the bricks, which is actually pretty decent. It's going to prevent them from settling. I don't know if there's any brick on the board, though. Doesn't look like it. Wants to give two sheep for 
for it, uh, for that, no. I think I'm going to keep what I have. I got another six here, so I think I'm going to four for one and pass. Actually, I'm going to see if I can actually trade before I do. Does anyone want to do this? So yeah, I think I'm going to just four for one for that and then just pass. And the reason why I'm passing is because if I get the eight wheat, I can just place a city on the five, eight, ten. Um, otherwise, I just got to wait for the ten and the five to roll. The eleven rolled, which means there was wood on the board. I don't think the wood's going to be surviving on the board. Still don't think there's any brick. No more, no resources again. All right, I have the city in hand now. Now I just got to hope that I get a 10 and a 5 rolling here. There you go. There's the 5. Now I just need a 10. Wants to give a sheep for a wheat. No. Now, do I prioritize the city or the village? And I think the que the answer here is the city. Um, and I didn't get the 10 anyway, so I got the city. And I'm moving on. And then now, whenever the 8, 5, or 10 does roll, I'm going to get double. And because they haven't been rolling, I'm hoping that the law of random numbers is going to go ahead and... Or the law of large numbers is going to go ahead and, is, and favor me now, now that these numbers haven't been rolling for me, that they're going to start rolling for me. I'm the only one with a city, so it looks like I'm a little scary here, but... Honestly, uh, I got lucky with the snake eyes. It's not going to happen again. And uh, I, I haven't been able to expand at all. Black is building a really long road to what looks like the four, uh, the four eleven, and I'm not entirely sure if that's really worth it. Um, especially when it comes to like a resource standpoint. I end up rolling the seven. Where do I want the robber besides six brick? Well, I guess my only opponent here is red. Wood for non-block. Okay. okay. I'll, I'll do that. I won't block red here. Um, what I can do is go here and t oh, and I end up getting the the... I end up getting the uh, of wood anyways. How interesting. So double wood here. Now I just need wheat. Let's see if anyone would want to trade me a wheat. And I'm willing to do the two for one if it comes down to that. But I still think they all say no here. Oh, no, Black says he's okay with that. Which means I might be giving him a settlement, which is fine. I want the settlement to the 3-1 to one port. 
so yeah, that was that was super beneficial. I blocked Black from getting a sheep, which he's probably not too happy about, but I gave him a sheep. And then a six roll. So now that I got the three to one port and I got a city up and running, it looks like I'm a little scary. And I probably am. The issue is, is I'm still only on four numbers. And I don't know if I can get out from underneath the stigma of four numbers unless I get to the 942. And that's probably going to be my next objective here, depending on what I actually get, which is going to be nothing. It is kind of like a civilization game, uh, Kayla. It's it's uh, building villages, and when the dice get rolled, you get the resources that your villages are touching, and you need to connect them with roads. Uh, this is a board game, Stiff. Um... Uh, the board game is called uh, Settlers of Catan, um, where you get uh, victory points depending on what you build. Uh, cities are worth two points, which I have one right here. Villages are worth one. And the objective is to get to 10 victory points. You also have what's called the largest army, which if someone plays the knight card three times, you get largest army. And if someone connects up to five different roads, you get the largest, uh, the longest road. And of course, largest army and longest road can be uh, competed for. I uh, wants to give a wood for... What does that give you? I wasn't paying attention. I'll go ahead and do this. I'll do the one for one. I could use a, a a road here. Oh, it does. It is for a settle. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can get down to this uh, nine four two for another settle. Okay, so I rolled another seven. So the seven, the robber gets moved. And when this robber moves, um, it goes on to a different player. And then you get to choose who you want to steal from. I was kind of rushed to make that uh, action. I haven't really been card following as much as I should be. And I got the wood that I wanted anyways. So now I'm able to double place two roads here. And then now all I need it to build a village is a, a wood brick, sheep, and wheat. And then I can build a, uh, a house. Sounds good, Banana. Uh, thank you for lurking. I definitely appreciate it. Hello, Rose. The 10 rolls and I get two wood, which is good. Now I just need a five to roll. Ooh, and someone stole nine sheep for a mono. So a monopoly is when um, you steal everyone's resource of that type and they chose uh, sheep. So they ended up taking all the sheep that everyone has in hand, which is uh, pretty overpowered. Because um, now when they stole nine different sheep, they can do two four to ones or they have the three to one port. So they just traded in six sheep for both a brick and a wheat, which made them be able to settle. So he had a nice, a nice swing here. Um, so yeah, that was a powerful move made by him. 
And then I roll another seven. I really wish I'd stop rolling these sevens. These sevens don't uh, really do much for me. Probably going to go back on the nine here. But who do I steal from? I've been stealing from Black a lot. But he he doesn't have the wood for me that I want anymore. I want something else. I think I'm going to go after Red here. And I get an ore, which is nice. Uh, because ore, even though I'm on the two, will rarely roll for me. And the Snake Eyes already rolled like two or three times. Okay, so another ten rolled, which is nice. Now I got four wood. I can trade in three of those wood for resource, which would be um, brick or sheep because the five, for whatever reason, barely rolls. And same thing with the six. You know, the most common, one of the most common numbers is a five or a six, and they barely roll. It's just, just, just my luck here. Goes on the five wheat, might steal from me. Yeah, it does. And takes the wood, so I can't three for one the wood anymore. Well, that's a shame. Wants to give a sheep for an ore. Um, damn, I took too long. I might have actually taken that. But getting the three for one is probably better. Because he has to trade in uh, six resources just to get two. So uh, he's getting a city and it's costing him a lot just to get a city. So that works. It's a good thing I didn't take it. But the, the three doesn't do anything for me. And uh, yeah, I'm going to continue struggling because none of these resources, it's, it's a dead hand. It goes on my five brick, which is actually not good because I actively need brick. I can three for one the the uh, the wheat here, which would be nice. But I really, I really need. Um, well, I can now just do this now. Yeah, that that was a mistake from Black. Now, now I have two different other numbers, right? I have the nine and the four, which I didn't have before. So instead of being on five unique numbers, I'm on uh, seven unique numbers. This should be good for terms of, in terms of production. So now my next uh, goal is to either get a city, go for longest road, something to that effect. And I think what I'm going to do here, because... The, to get to another village, it's two roads anyways. I think I'm going to do two roads here, and then I'm going to pop a dev card, and it's a knight. So I'm going to be able to use this knight defensively if someone decides to block me. I decided not to get the longest road yet, and the reason why I decided to, against that is because I don't want people seeing me at seven points and thinking I'm a threat. I, if they really look at the board, they know that I'm already at seven points.
So because I've been blocked and stolen from on the 10 uh, wood here, I'm going to probably pop the knight before I roll just to get him off my spot. Um, and then probably steal from blue. Uh, because blue is the one I think that's more, more dangerous. Nice. If I actually... Let me see if I can find who... Red just th threw away all of his wood. I think I'm going to go after blue here. Yeah. Aw, oh, man, I get another brick. All right. No. No, that was too obvious. I should have led with the uh, wheat for a brick first. I mean, he really should, though. Let's see, I get, uh, blue decides to play a knight and steal from me here, which is probably appropriate here, because I am, uh, the most, uh, threatening here. Um, and, uh, he gets to block all three players instead of just one or two. So it, that's a, that's a nice position to put it in. I get another seven. I'm going to place it right back on the six and steal from blue. And of course, I get another card that I really don't need. Ah, oh, damn this. Oh, I absolutely hate the timer. I get killed by it every single time. The eight rolls and I get two wheat. That's nice. And the five rolls. Okay. I'm rolling in resources now. Now now a seven's going to roll. Watch, and I have to discard half of it. Come on, no seven, no seven, no seven. Perfect. All righty. Um, definitely got a three for one for a wood here to place the village.
The real question is, is do I get the road longest road now? And I think I do. Even though it's a lot of grain, I think I have to do it. Hi, Arkadon. Hello. <laughs> Let's see if someone takes this really quick. No, they're, they they don't want to give me uh, resources here. I don't blame them. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do this. So now I'm sitting at eight points. And my, all my eight points are being shown on the board. So it's not like I can hide behind victory points. And dev cards like blue possibly or black could possibly have a victory point. So it's going to be... Um, it's going to be a little bit rougher for me to actually sneak, quote-unquote, to a victory. We shall see what happens. I get solo blocked on the eight wheat. Can't blame him. No, I was not whispering to myself. Ar I knew Arkadon came in. And I just decided uh -huh, to ignore sure. him for a bit. Sure. I, I will say, when you first started whispering, you scared the shit out of me. I'm like, who the fuck is whispering to me? Low, 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 low. Um, let's see, I can continue building a road, but that seems counterproductive. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Actually, it's not because red is at, could get to seven if he builds two more roads. So I can either defend road or I can try for another city, which actually wouldn't be a bad idea. Um, I'm actually going to defend the road here, but still leave me with enough uh, wheat and sheep to possibly get... Uh, To possibly get uh, development cards here. I just got to hope blue doesn't block me off here. Because if blue does end up blocking me off. Um, uh, my road is going to be a little bit on the rougher side. For sure. I get solo blocked on the two. All right. That's a real kind of a weird spot to go for. But it is red. And the only other place that red can go on would be the 10 wheat wood. Which he probably thought was just not worth it. So the two it is. Oh my god. And the two rolled. I was just telling chat that was probably the best place and you and and it ended up rolling. That that is amazing. That is absolutely amazing. <clears throat> and then black admits he has a grudge against red that's at that's actually really beneficial um i can actually ask black to 
um, block red if if I really wanted to. Um, but blue ends up using the knight aggressively when he had more than seven cards. That's typically a bad idea because if he ended up rolling a seven, the card that he just stole, he would have had to trade it away. In this case, it didn't matter. One, I have a wood. The wood doesn't do me any good. And two, he didn't roll the seven. He ended up rolling a six. So six one way, half dozen the other. But, um, yeah, uh, that's not something you want to do, typically. Um, Blue looks like he might be going for another city, which is not bad, seeing how he had 12, diff 12 resources in hand. Oh, no, he went for a dev card. Okay. Um, and I actually they made the mistake there. I should have moved the knight before, um, but I'm going to move the knight now. And I think I'm going to go back right on the blue. The blue player is probably the only person I am genuinely afraid of. And I think I'm actually going to go on the nine here because the block in the six doesn't matter anymore. It's past the early and mid game where the brick really does anything for him. He's going to end up trading it off. So blocking the sheep for development cards and other stuff like that is going to be the way to go. I end up stealing a sheep from him, but I don't know if I should three to one here because it's not going to do, do me anything. Um, and no one is at a point where they can steal road, even if they connect. So porting the sheep for a brick to build more roads isn't worth it at this point. And I do get the resources to actually build another village. But after I build that village, that's it. You can only have five villages. After that, you need to upgrade them to a city. So while that's great, and I get another victory point, that leaves me at nine, and I need to get to ten. So really, I really need these cities. Oh, and someone monopolies the wood, and I end up getting three wood stolen from me. I kind of needed that wood to pour it out. That's a shame. Yep, and that's the reason why I expanded the road that I did. Is he still going to be able to take it? He still took it. Damn. Well, I have to take it back, so I'm going to go ahead and trade in. And I got my road back. <clears throat> now, the nice thing is, is that blue can't um, screw me over to build a village here. So now I can just take my time. I'm back up to eight points again. And while... Uh, Red can sit there and try to take road again. As soon as I connect this road right here, my road goes from 10 to 11, 12, 13, 14, which is very, very powerful. And you only have 15 roads. So all my roads are actually connecting with each other. It's very, very rare to be able to do that in, in a game of Catan. So now what I need to do is... I really need another city. I need that city on that 942. I just haven't had the chance to actually get that city. Um,
Ooh, and the two rolls. Man, am I lucky with these twos. All right, so because of that, I'm definitely going to build this city, and it's going to be here. And then all I need, all I need is a village. But because all I have is three to one ports, man, man, I am literally a wood, a ten, or a five, or a six. I, I'm literally just like one resource off. But I have to pass here. I, I don't ha I don't have it. That's insane. And because I end up um And because I ended up uh, having eight cards, I had to uh, get rid of uh, four cards because of seven rolled. So... Red was hoping that blue would stop me from expanding, and there really wasn't anything blue could have done besides maybe block the road. I met on the six sheep. Oh, okay. Yeah, blue blue didn't do enough against me. I do have to agree there. Blue not going for me and playing his own game really cost the game. And the fact that blue plowed black here is actually really hilarious because now black is just ticked off. Black, Black couldn't have a game this entire game. And part of that is where he placed his um, second city and then not place his uh, first expansion. Black should have raced red here, and he didn't. Black instead went all the way over here before he could do anything, which just which just hurt him. Um, I, I'm stuck with, with the fact that I have... The same resources as last time, minus the uh, seven. So I have to just pass again. But I'm, I'm guaranteed a win as soon as that ten rolls. And there it is. The ten finally rolled. No one ended up getting army. It was a very, very low or wheat sheep game. But uh, yeah, no one ended up getting army. Black has three down devs as well.
Now, luckily, um, I had enough resources. Oh, but he stole from me. Oh, man. Well, you just prolonged the game, dang it. <laughs> and then Red takes Longest Road. Oh, and the 8 gets blocked. Man. Come on. Actually, no. No, 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 no. I'll take that. I'll take that blue. No, he doesn't want to trade with me. Another seven, but it gets placed back on my on me. That's fine, whatever. Um, I'm constantly going to get blocked here, so it doesn't matter. The nine rolls, that's that's fine. I, I can live with that. No one can interrupt me building here, so my I might actually get the village off first. That way, I only need two resources. To finally get this done. This game ended up being a uh, very long match. Now, if the ten, if the ten rolls, I oh, still wouldn't be able to win because I need another brick too to get my road back. Man, blocking that those eights really hurt. So let's see, he could actually be at nine victory points. So I'm actually going to go ahead and take away road first, as disgusting as that sounds, and then end the turn. So I'm back at nine points again, and then I just got to get my village stuff, you know, whenever it decides to roll. I got a 5, I just need a 10, I need a 10, a 9, or a 6, or a 4, or a 2. Like, I just need one of my numbers to roll that's not the 8. It was really scary in the beginning, though, because the 10, 5, 8 barely rolled, and then the 2 and 6 kept rolling. But um, I ended up making it. Oh, the one card, the one roll that I couldn't get that would make me win is the 3. How hilarious. Wow, not only does he move it from the A to the 3 and steal from, but he steals from blue. Why did he do that? That's what I'm wondering.
Well, I end up getting the six, which means I now have the resources to win. Oh, he didn't want to put me at under seven. Yeah, you do. GG. Yeah, he won me to seven out in the and at, at the end there. This mat this this match ended up being fifty one minutes. That's insane. But I'm almost at platinum, plat two. That would that's nice. But uh, taking a look at the uh, stuff here, uh, black and red both did have two victory points. So red having that seven seven victory points meaning uh, did mean that he had one more victory point and that was it. So taking back road was the right thing to do. That's definitely what I needed to do. But yeah, all the victory points in the deck were taken. Um, so pulling, pulling for, the, for the win definitely wasn't the way to go. Um, it was definitely building. Uh, f uh, but two cities and four villages, that's pretty good. Um, here are some dice stats. Look at this two. This two rolled four different times. And... Man, did it tremendously help when I needed it. It got me the city the one time. It got me two cities, actually. Because it. I started off with the 6-2, which means I ended up getting the ore. The two ore that ended up rolling beforehand, I ended up making into a city. That's where I got the city on the 6 uh, on the six eight ten. And then they blocked 1-2. And then when the other two rolled is when I got the city on the 2-4-9. Uh, so that two rolling the four times that it did was really, really critical. Um, the six rolled a bunch is when I got all those sheep from. Sheep was definitely the name of the game, this this game. Here's the dev card stuff. Activity stats. Uh, thank you for the follow, um, Muthalo, or... I think I spelled... I think I pronounced that right. I'm horrible at pronouncing things. I'm sorry. And then here's the stats for this as well for anyone that wants to take a look here. Um, I think I'm going to play one more game and then... Um, Arkadin, did you want to play Hunt or did you want to go over to Apex with Kayla? Mm, whatever. Did you want to play Apex with Kayla or did you want to go over to Hunt? Whatever. Gotcha. Okay. Oh well, uh, GG Red. That was uh, that was really really well played. Um, uh, and yeah, you definitely had much more game sense than a lot of people there. Um, and I was actually looking at this. You did have the two victory points. I thought you had two victory points, which meant I needed to take Road back, and that's exactly what I did. I was really really tempted just to place the village because then all I needed was two resources, but something was in the back of my mind was going, no, don't do that. You're going to end up losing. So very, very GD to you, man. You, you definitely have uh, very, very good game sense.